we're, we're starting the Zoom meeting here for today. I'm super excited. We're at the NAR conference. And I've got William Grader here with me. I, I, I like to give Will a hard time about how famous he is. He's famous with us. I don't know if anybody else knows Will Grader, but he, uh, I, I met Will in January, actually, when I went out to Eugene. I can't believe that. IDX been, broker, yeah. It's been a pretty short time. Looks like my note taker's going to be there. We got Joe Tran. Joe here. Tran's here. Okay. Well, once Joe's here, then I guess it's time to get the party going. Love it. So uh, tell us a little bit about what you do with, this is specifically about high level, and then tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing with Mailbox Power and high level, if you don't mind. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So, you know, I've worked in high level since 2019, and um, we started out with our own real estate SaaS company uh, back in 2019. We we originally were just a random marketing agency trying to get by, and um, we we started playing around with high level. Luckily, we had the money to to put down for testing something at the time, right? Okay. Um, and we then quickly realized that, hey, you know what? We should try to roll out an offer with this. And so we we pushed it to our audience and we had like $7,000 in monthly recurring revenue uh, on our first launch. Wow, yeah, first, first launch. So we we immediately realized that high level was a great solution for us. And um, so we, we just kept going on with it. And so we, we built out a beautiful real estate snapshot um, that we wanted just for ourselves you know and that's that's ultimately where it came about is um we used it for ourselves and so i spent years with brian um building out an awesome solution and we kept tweaking every strategy that we'd run through we um you know the core part of our offer was that we wanted to integrate with a bunch of great solutions that were already in the industry right because that's that's kind of what high level is is you you want to you want to be able to make a unique offer and right now there's so many high level agencies that um they just sell high level and that's fantastic right um but you, you've got to do things to make you stand out um and and that's where things like idx solutions come into play um mailbox power we we also use a software called my plus leads um that integrates FISVO and expired and pre foreclosure data. Um, and, and they actually just added an API integration recently as well to go high level. So, you know, that, that, that's kind of where everything started for us. And, um, so the IDX solution, that was something that always, always took a long, a long time to figure out for us. Right. We went years in high level without ever having any solution. Um, and so it's great to have people like you and your company come along into the high level community um, because really it's it's not meant for it, right? High level was not built for real estate, but it's great because now with the way technology is forming, we can we can make it that. Um, so, so yeah, that's cool. So you mentioned mailboxes, mailbox power. Tell me what, what are you guys doing with that? Yeah. So mailbox power, automated gifting and direct mail software. We've, uh, we've been around for many years and we've got, you know, thousands of customers around the nation that use us. And one of the things that we looked at when, when we joined mailbox power was there's, there's no, not a white labeled solution for direct mail and gifting, right? And so that that's really, we, we looked at what High Level built and we saw the amazing community that they've got and all this agency life that they've built, right? They've built a community of amazing agency owners. And so we wanted to be able to also offer a unique solution for people to white label their direct mail. Um, and so that's ultimately what we're doing. We, we launched the white labeled agency model so that people can own their own version and resell it to people of, um, of, mailbox, of power. mailbox power. Yeah. Right yeah. So you can have your own brand, your own logo, your own custom domains. Um, and then you can resell sub accounts automatically. Um, obviously, we have hard costs with, you know, printing and the machines and all of that. So we're charging per sub account, but it's a low cost, right? It's such a low cost 
that you can offer a done for you solution um, or even just sell it still DIY like we do. We're, we're giving the, our, our executive 199 a month plan that mailbox power sells. We're giving that to agency owners at only 49 bucks a month. So and so space there they... there's, there's a good gap, just even if you're selling it DIY and letting people do it themselves, you can still make 150 bucks a month right there. Um, but on top of that, we also wanted to add in, you know, like a rebilling style feature where people can get uh, the agencies get 10% in usage fees back to them as well. So if their sub accounts are sending out tons of gifts, they're going to get 10% on top of that Okay, with wow. their accounts. Cool. Yeah. Well, let me, we're going to dive into some other stuff. Tell us what, um, without giving us any of your secret sauce, what are you guys working on in the real estate space as far as high level? What, what what do you see coming up here in the next 12 months or so? Great question. Um, you know, overall, I think that IDX, there there needs to be a great solution. So I'm happy that you came around. Um, the real estate market is in a really tricky spot right now, right? And it's only, only fitting that we're here at the NARC conference <laughs> after there's a big lawsuit. But um but that's not to mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, but overall, um, you know, it's a great industry, and there's a lot of great realtors out there. Um, and you can still have a very successful uh real estate agency. Like you, there's as you can see here, there's there's thousands of agents, and these are all the top agents in the industry that are here right now. Um. And real estate isn't going anywhere. So that's one thing we can all always take solace in, right? Um, well, one of the things I know we're working on with Will is, uh, and I mentioned it, I think, last week, is we're working on a solution where we're going to take what you have in your uh, high-level snapshot. You have a website design in there. And I actually saw some of this um, when I was checking my notes last night after we went to dinner. Yeah where they're setting that up. So it's loading those custom values in there. Yep. And then uh, you're going to be able to just pop that out for your clients and maybe change the color or whatever it is that you do for your client. And uh, it's just going to have a tighter IDX integration. Then we talked last week in our webinar, how we're, um, we're working with iHome Finder. Yeah. And what we're trying to do with those guys is make it what you actually spoke to me about when I met you in January at the Mexican restaurant in Eugene. Yep. Where you're like, I just want to push a button and sign these guys for IDX. I'm like, no, yeah. Will. You got to fill out the form. You got to fill out the form. And you, you <laughs> fought me on that form for the whole time now and i'm getting sick of it so we're gonna make a solution just so we don't have to put up with any more crap from you about that all right i love right? it yes that's great i okay. love it <laughs> hey well thanks for joining us today i appreciate, appreciate it, it. All right. thank you You're everybody good, have a good day i'm gonna hop back on here we're gonna see who's on our our webinar today that was uh the famous will grader i've been giving will a hard time up here um ifoma was going to prepare uh, a few minutes about, um, I'm going to need to get a headset on here, guys, because it's so loud here. Sorry about that. Um, there's just a lot of background noise here. And now that I see Joe Tran here and he's got his Apple watch on, I thought, well, I better put on my my uh, my headsets. Now that's a, I, I trade my Apple watch for your sexy. Hey, uh, Joe, F give me a second, brother. <laughs> hey, Joe, can you can you? Can I can you hear, hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. Can you hear me? Hello, 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 Did hello. Did you guys hear Will even? Yes. Did you hear Will? Oh, okay. I yes. can I can yes. see your head moving. Yes. I guess you can hear me. Yeah. I just can't yes. hear you. So I don't know what's yeah. going on. Oh, I think I'm I think my sound's ported out to uh to this thing. Give me a second here. Just a second. Sound. Uh 
Hey, Joe, can you say something for me? Hey, hey, hey. Happy birthday. Cannot no. hear a word you're Can saying, hear. brother. I can just see your mouth moving. That's kind of creeping me out a little you bit. You see him? My mouth is moving, but you can't hear me. My microphone is working. I can. Hey, callers, can you hear me? Let me try to hook back up. Give me yeah, just yeah, a we second. Can, we can hear up. you, Joe. Give me a second. We can okay. hear you, Joe, but we cannot. Yeah, we can. We can also hear James. Um, okay. I'm gonna send this uh, meeting over to Mida. Mida, if you, if I don't get back in here, <laughs> that's that always helps. Get out and get back in. So. Hey, that was more. Okay, Jim. I can hear. Try again. Can you hear? Hello, hello, hello. That's hey, a, um, that's I'll a PC issue. Working. You know, and it, or it could be a. I hear you now. Okay, can you now hear? I, there I you go. Mics on. I think I'm sending sound off my mic. Sorry, guys. There you go. Joe, how are you doing, brother? I am doing good. I, I see that um, you got you're having fun there. The uh, Mailbox Pro was actually next to the Hot Prospector booth next to us at the high level event. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. So they don't tell anybody, but they they don't actually have a booth where they're just with us. So they're, we're oh, sharing a booth. Yeah. I think uh, I can spin you around here and walk you guys around. It's not as exciting as high level. High level is like jam packed. That event. Yeah, this is this spin you around. There you go. That's more formal it's, though. I mean, that's a big, a lot of exhibitors. Oh yeah, this and we're just on the corner here. This is here's my wife right there. Oh, and you know, you you two make marvelous dancers. I know that. Okay, thanks, Joe. I appreciate that. I'll send you twenty bucks when I get back home, brother. There you go. <laughs> uh, so Ifoma was going to talk to us about the agent um, integration that we built, and I don't, I don't see Ifoma in here today. Maybe a time zone issue. He may have gotten busy, um, and I haven't checked my messages. Let me see if um, if I can load it here real quickly on my. Let me ask uh, Maida and Vadim if either one of them are set up, or Carlos if they're set up to show us. If they could show us that. Um, and then we'll dive into some Q&A. Hey, Jim, I have a quick question. James? Yeah, yes, sir. Yep. Okay. We, I think, um, Fong has sent the login credentials for me. Okay. Um, for the IDX, do you have video instructions on how to install it into high level? To install the IDX into high level? Yeah. Um, I don't know that we have video instructions. Mida, do we just have them in print or do we have them video? I can make a video. But it might or just instructions. Be, they can be written yeah, instructions. instructions. Let's see. I know I saw Maida was working on Maida, can you share that with me? The instructions, the tutorial? Yeah, to, yeah. to set up a high level with um, with IDX broker, with sure. IDX channels. I'll get the link. Okay. Now, Marlene, could you or Carlos show us a, a high level screen and show us how those agents uh, Look, the agent data while she was doing that, or I'll, I can share my screen, but I just, I don't even know if I know where to go to it. So let me, let me pull up my uh, high level account here. We're doing some demos with folks here. Let's see if this will load. We're super excited to be here with William Grader. I like to give William a hard time. He's a great, he's a great guy, but he, uh, 
they have a cool integration. We're actually building some some tools and some stuff with them that we're really excited about that we're going to be sharing here um, in the next uh, couple of months. I don't know if my, my high level doesn't want to load for some reason. Probably zoom in there. So here's the tutorial, it looks like, in the chat. I'm going to copy that it. link. Uh, FYI, I also sent you, um, when you get a chance, when you get back, some nice reading via Google Doc. Okay, thank you. I saw that you, you were going to send me some stuff. Like, stop, Joe. I, that wish list is too long. Okay. I'll read it. <laughs> um, so, Carlos or Valim, can either one of you even answer in the chat and let me know if you can pull up that agent information for us, please? Or Maida, anybody? I can share my screen to show the agent, well, the thank new you. features that we're working on. Please, thank you, Maida. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, and I... I don't know where Sonia ran off to, but I'm going to get Sonia in here in a minute. We'll get her in the screen. Okay, so this is like the main high-level dashboard. And here we can see as a principal broker all the leads that come uh, to IDX Broker. Okay. But you can also log in uh, um, as a user. And it's only going to show uh, the listings of your leads. So this is a new feature and it works using the same high level sub account with multiple users. So as you can see, uh, it's only showing uh, these user leads and not all of them. Okay. So this is like if they have an office account with say 80 agents and they're all in one sub account they can still break it out and each agent can only see their own traffic and own leads, right, Maida? Mm -hmm. That's right. But James, the, 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 way, the way you make money, don't you want a lot of sub accounts so you can, you know, because you make money uh, from- Well, I didn't, I didn't know you were gonna be on this call or I wouldn't have, we wouldn't have shared this, Joe, because we're, for your people, we want each agent to have their own account, but everybody <laughs> else, we're gonna let them do the agent accounts. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah. If I would have known you were here, we we just wouldn't have shown this part. But yeah, I mean, you, you kind of ruined our whole thing. Yeah, um, that no, was, you're I right about that. Dollars. But but the truth is, is that you know, I'll be honest. That's a great question. While well, Mida's looking up this thing to show how they're putting the um, agent ID, agent email, and agent name, and they're on the on the contacts. I want to I want to address that really quickly. We think that the market's really tough right now for a lot of real estate agents. And for a lot of brokerages, there's, 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 there's some people that are having some tough times. And if this is set up in a way that they can do this and they can save some money, we'll figure out what we need to do to get by. We're okay. So I think that this is a great option for people and it's a great way for them to save money. And I think that's important. And it's gonna help a lot of these folks be able to get out the other side of this. To answer yeah, your question, is that a, is that a fair answer, Joe? No, that's a fair answer. We had lunch and we broke bed and we we blocked the traffic at high level. So yeah. you know, you're a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Maida, do you want to show us that with the agents? And while she's doing that, Sonia, would you be kind enough to come over here? Sonia, she's over there with Will Grader. Will Grader won't let us do our thing. Hey, Sonia, Sonia. Come here, I want you to say hi to these guys. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, this is Joe Tran. We got Carlos and Maida and Vileen and Frank and Partha and Lance and Diana here. So, and Mark, I see Mark in here too. She, she doesn't know that the mics are. My hair can match yours. You know, yeah, he's so. going to try to do the hair like yours. Try and get a wrap now, thing. Somewhere. Well, Sonia and I have this pretty much. Let's see. Twins. Matching haircut. I see. Matching haircut. <laughs> yeah, we did. We're twins. 
So, so Maida, are you able to share your screen and show that? Carlos, how about you? I'm looking for an example, I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody? Yeah. Just a little bit. James, I'm sorry, uh, you guys. Yeah. What did you know? You're at like the the capital of all the chaos for real estate right now with NAR, right? What's the atmosphere like, and what are they're saying? And you know, it's pretty positive. Yeah, uh, nobody's even. That's besides just saying there was a lawsuit. There's not too much discussion about it. They're not that. It's not that big of a deal. They're pretty positive. They're pretty energetic. People are, I mean, there's a lot of people. I think they have like 11,000 people here. We're kind of on one corner. We're actually right next to Lofty, which some of you may know. He's formerly known as Chine. I actually did an interview with um, Stuart over there. They're kind of a big deal. But yeah, it's pretty good. Well, let me dive in while my team is trying to find that. I, I really appreciate it. I, I haven't. Um, any other questions from anybody? I see some folks here, Martha, Lance. Um, anybody else have any questions? We're doing a Q&A, and we're, we're probably going to wrap up here in about three minutes. I, I apologize about being kind of short. Um, no, I mean, we're going to want to I talk actually... to you. We want to talk to you. I'm on a webinar right now, but can Sonia talk to you? Yes, of course. I don't know if you want to sit here for a second. We're... I'm on a webinar. Let me introduce. I have Rafael. Do you mind if I put you on my screen, Rafael? Oh, no Rafael's from Mexico City. Is it there? Yeah. Hey, how are you? We have, we have about three people four people on our team that all live in mexico here so really? they're yeah so joe's not one of them he's a client of ours anybody else have any questions for us before we show this uh thing and then if not we'll just dive in and uh dive in dive in carlos please can you can you share your screen or or vadim vadim you made it didn't you make you guys make a demo for somebody that we can show I found the example. I'm sorry for taking too long. That's okay. Okay. I didn't give them any warning. They didn't know what we were going to do. I apologize. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I think you're referring to this, James. But the idea is that we are adding here or assigning an agent to, 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 Hi, how are you? to a new contact in high level. So, for example, this is how. Uh, the agent assign assignation works in IDX Broker. We use uh, an IV for the agent. And we know that uh, this agent is, hmm, well, this is a demo account, but this agent is Cristiano. And we are going to, or we assign, assign it this lead that is called Ferris Harrington to Cristiano. Uh -huh. So in high level, in the contacts, we are now adding these custom uh, fields so we know what agent it is assigned to and uh, the name of the agent and their email so they can you can trigger workflows uh, according to this mm -hmm. so let me let me ask the rest of you guys Maida, thank you for showing that to us can you see is there any way that you could make a workflow based on that uh, agent information Mm, no, I don't have an example. No, right I, I mean everybody else, like for Joe and Partha oh, okay. and all the <laughs> all the high level people. Does that yeah, give you absolutely. enough data to be able to make a workflow? Yeah, absolutely. As long as we have the user ID that's assigned to the contact, so we agent is what you're saying. Correct. We need to add okay to the main agent. Yes. Okay. Yep. Agent. Because what happens is then, right. uh, and then you get tricky. Because what you want to do is sometimes you have share, share calendar, um, or you may want it, point it to a calendar we, so that it will be only assigned to the book to the assigned agent. So that's another issue. I got to work with high level. There's some calendar issue with assignment. <laughs> okay. 
So we can can we work? Is that something, uh, Vadim? You you were working on this. Is that something you see um, in the API settings that we can do that? Um, yes. Assign that to it. Can, a, can to I a, add something about this? Please. I want to I want to share my screen. Uh, can I do okay. it? You bet. Okay. Okay. Uh, before you guys uh, go and use that functionality, make sure you uh, for example. You go uh to go high level app right on go I mean on IDX settings. Uh, before you use them, please make sure that all custom fields are set in your account. And if they're if they're not, what can they do to set them? If not, there's gonna be a button update. You just click update, and all custom fields gonna be set on your go high level. Okay. Hey, by the email, we have you here. How how hard is it, or can you see looking at the API? Is that something you can do? Is assign that to an agent inside of high level? Assign that lead. Assign that lead. Well, you can do it with workflows. It's like what one... about that, Joe? Can you do that with workflows, or do we need to do that with workflows? We or can. Do we need to um, do that via the API? question I was going. Assets, do you have any workflow actions for for IDX add-ons within high level? Do you know what those we are? We don't. We don't. We don't know what they are, and we probably don't have them made. We're 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 newbies at high level, Joe. We've we've been doing this for less than probably about two months. So we're we're still finding our way. Well, I, I work with you. I'm I'm making sure you guys will be the number one thing we <laughs> Okay, thanks, Joe. Okay, well, you show us what that we need to make, joke. we'll make it. That was a joke. I can't do any of that. It was just a joke. <laughs> that's that's a lot of weight on my shoulder. <laughs> okay, well, if we're not number one, it'll be your fault, Joe. We'll yeah, we'll get with go. we'll get well, maybe we can get with you, Joe, and see what we need to do to set that up. Whether that's with the workflow, like Vadim says, or whether we can hit it. Uh, via API calls, maybe we can look at that and see how that happens because we may have an op option to do that while we're loading that data in. But I'll be honest with you, I actually like the idea of using the workflow better because then you can control it based on criteria on your side. If we just assign it, you're like, there's so many, it seems like everything that we build like that, people say, yeah, I want it like that, except in these cases. And so I think if it's handled with a workflow inside of high level, then you can build all those use cases inside of your workflow instead of us just kind of with a brute force assigning it outside of uh, high level. I think the best way is, you know, for, you know, a broker that have their own business logic on there and start looking at it and not really looking at it, whether it's IDX or whether it's high level, but really look at the, the business logic and what needs to happen and then you design everything based on the business logic. Okay. I agree with you. Yeah, I don't I don't think we have too much more for today. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up. I'll post this in our Facebook group and um we're we're gonna see I think uh Ifoma has some stuff that he's built that he was going to show us and I'll ask him if he can just make the video and sh and share maybe a loom video or a YouTube video or something. Okay. So thank you guys for joining us. We'll be here again next Wednesday at one o'clock and we're going to be showing off some new stuff that we've been working on. Cool. Thank you, James. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you guys. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye from Anaheim.